Hi everyone, Sid here, back in the bathroom. Today is the day. What day is today, you ask? Today is the day I will shave with one of the uh, only pieces of equipment uh, that you haven't seen yet, which is my straight razor. Um, just before I go on, today's lather, I'm still going to be working the red tub, and I will be adding lavender, tea tree oil, and patchouli. So, uh, the straight razor, honestly, is something that I've been curious for uh, many years. It's one of these things that uh, you, you do research on it and uh, find out, you know, the things that you should know to be an informed buyer and all that stuff. I, I spent a lot of time researching straight razors and I've owned one for, uh, for a while now, so the, the language is a bit rusty to me. Uh, as a matter of fact, I had to Google straight razor anatomy to get some of the, the terms down for uh, some of the parts of a straight razor. But uh, all that being said, my family, my friends and family uh, had obviously known for many years uh, how much I enjoy shaving. And the, the straight razor was a topic that came up naturally uh, as I was talking about uh, how I'd like to buy one and use one and whatnot. And eventually, my niece and nephew uh, decided to get me a straight razor for Christmas. Now, it wasn't an actual straight razor, it was an injector razor. I'm going to show it to you in a second. And what's really nice, well, what was nice. My, I, I'm of two minds about the injector razor. I'll get more into that throughout this video. But uh, the way an injector works, this is the one right here. So... As you can see, it looks a lot like a straight razor, only there's this little thing here that uh, pops out over the edge. And the reason you call it an injector razor is because you can, come on, there we go. You can eject this part, which contains a, a double-edged blade that is uh, bent and snapped in half. And then you inject it into this thing here, and you can use it kind of like a straight razor. Now. I would used this several times, I thought it was like a straight razor. Um, the long and short of it, I would advise, if you're interested in getting a straight razor, just jump right in and get a real one, uh, for reasons I will get into very shortly. So uh, I, I had you know, researched uh, the different grips and the things to use, and what's cool about an injector razor is that you don't have to strop it, uh, but uh, even then, I would definitely advise uh, just jumping right in and getting one. Uh, it's, it's difficult to go catastrophically wrong unless you buy a really shitty uh, uh, straight razor, which I, I doubt that there are that many in existence, uh, but I'm sure there's some horror stories down there. Um, I'll probably put some links in the, the, under this video to uh, some resources that I used back when I was researching this. Uh, but the, the thing that I'll never forget was the day that I was using the injector and I was using, I was shaving like this and I did a downward motion like this on this cheek and I cut myself in a way that it was a vertical cut and I'm like what the fuck I'm holding the blade like this uh, what happened? Um, after a bit of thinking, I realized that it was the corner of the blade that had uh, caught my skin and just basically, as I was dragging it down, it, it spread the cut downwards. Uh, which is why I would suggest, if you are going to get an injector razor, make sure that, because there are some that do this, uh, there, there are some injectors with uh, little uh, corner protectors where the corners of the blade won't be naked like they are on this one. Uh, but the, the, the silver lining on that is that that weird ass cut, or at least it seemed weird to me in the moment, uh, gave me the motivation to say, you know what, uh, I'm just going to take the plunge. Uh, I, I love my niece and nephew for their thoughtfulness, giving me something they know I enjoy, but uh, let's just do it for real instead of pretending. And then I got this baby. I call her Vicky because that's the sound it makes when you use it correctly. It goes You'll hopefully hear that sound uh, shortly.
So yeah, the, the technique I use uh, when I'm shaving with the straight razor is uh, slightly different. I'm not going to get into the details, but uh, my favorite part of shaving with a straight razor is um, the second pass in the throat area. So I'm just going to go right to it. This is my first time uh, shaving with a straight razor while filming myself. I don't know to what extent I can speak, but uh, the... Ooh. There we go. Yeah. I'd rather have a video with more silence than a video with more shaving cuts. What's nice about uh, this uh, shaving with a straight razor is the longer your hair is, and this is true for the double edge also, the longer your beard is, the stronger the advantages of a single blade over a multi-blade cartridge uh, become because and I have a feeling of deja vu I might have mentioned this in a prior video but uh, wait I'm almost there oh wow alright so yeah uh, when you know when you're you're shaving with one of these, or uh, yours. Six, yours almost certainly has more blades than mine. But uh, when you're when you're shaving with this, and you haven't shaved in uh, two, three, four days, or whatever, and you do a couple passes, and it shaves like shit because there's a bunch of hair cut between the blades here. Well, with a double edge or a straight razor, that's not an issue because there there's only one blade, so there's nothing uh, between which the hair can get caught between. And uh, just so you know. You're, you're always supposed to pull at the skin when you, when you pass with a, a straight razor. And as a matter of fact, whenever you see me do this in my other videos, that's something I started doing uh, when I was researching straight razors, and I knew that you always need to tug the skin in order to shave with it. Now, oh, okay, good. I cut myself, but uh, only once, thankfully. Now, an advantage that uh, the straight razor has over the injector, and this is part of what I realized. Uh, I was surprised at how much easier it was to use this than it was to use this thing. Uh, but the, what's really cool about shaving with a straight razor is when you're shaving with this, this is also true for uh, modern razors and even the double edge, but it's way more true for this one. Uh, the, the actual blade that's cutting your, your, your beard is this thing. So this is connected to this, which is connected to this, which is what I'm holding in my hands, right? So when I shave and something's going wrong here, for me to know, it has to go through all this shit for me to notice. Whereas when I'm shaving with Vicky, uh, the thing that's cutting my beard, I'm holding it in my hands. So as long as I'm paying attention, if something goes wrong, I'll notice. Uh, just like I did with here. Like, th these two things, I'm not, su I'm not so surprised that I cut myself here. So I'm gonna just finish off the first path. And, uh, shit, I forgot what I was going to say. Let me just... Oh, yeah. Mm. A straight razor shave feels completely different than um, even a double edge. Uh, if you take the plunge and go with one, uh, for the first couple days, your face might spend the day saying, what the fuck did you do to me? But uh, it doesn't take very long to adapt to the, the different feeling. It's not 
better or worse, it's just different. Um, and another thing that is, uh, like, I'm not convinced that shaving with an injector is proper preparation for shaving with a straight razor because first of all, you don't need to strop it, so you don't need to work on your stropping technique. I'll get into stropping uh, very shortly. And uh, the other thing is, you don't drag this across your face the same way that you drag this. This, uh, now I'll put both down just to demonstrate. When you're shaving with this, you're shaving with a, a double edge. So when you're dragging it across your face, it's more, you're, you're dragging it more like this. Whereas this, you kind of have to find an angle and you're dragging it way more uh, perpendicular to the, 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 uh, the surface of your skin relative to an injector. So that in itself is kind of subtle, but um, let's just say that uh, all the, 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 the grips that I experimented with to, uh, so that I could see myself in the mirror and hold the blade properly and have a decent shave um, when I when I switch from the injector to uh, Vicky uh, I had to kind of tweak it a bit so before I start the second pass I'd like to give a quick word on stropping uh, stropping is the the process of gliding your straight razor back and forth on the leather strap uh, to make sure that, that that edge is like micro microscopically sharp. Uh, that's what keeps that, that edge nice and, and V-shaped. And there are two different kinds of straps. There's this one which I bought when I bought Vicky, uh, which is something that you hang on, uh, you suspend it on one side, and then you, you strap the, the straight razor on this end. Now, this one annoyed me for two reasons. First of all, I don't have anything secure enough to attach it to that uh, will fit through this hole. And the other thing is, oops, the other thing is the strap in itself isn't as uh, wide as uh, Vicky is. So to strap a straight razor correctly when the strap is um, skinnier than the blade, you have to do this X motion. Uh, so for those two reasons, I decided to switch to this paddle strap ooh, uh, that I use. So basically, the uh, attaching it to something isn't uh, isn't an issue, and uh, it's the same thickness as uh, the straight razor, which is great. And uh, after the years, I also have a, a pasted side. So when Vicky needs a touch up, when Vicky isn't as sharp as I'd like her to be, I can. Uh, give a, cue, uh, a, a few quick passes on the pasted side, and uh, she's as good as new. So, with that being said, let's start the second pass. I could never figure out how to go across the brain with, uh, across the grain with a straight razor in the throat area, so Pass number two is always against the grain, and I really like doing this motion on my throat. There we go. And I'll tell you something, a uh, quick anecdote. In my entire life, there are two moments that stand out as far as lasting a split second and also being extremely scary to me. Uh, the first one will take a bit of uh, explaining to do. I was, uh, this was back when I was doing door to door. Um, shit, how did I do this again? I think it's, yeah, you won't see me for a bit, sorry. So, when I was still doing door to door, uh, one of my colleagues at the time, great guy, uh, great guy, but, uh, <laughs> has some bravado, uh, he had bought a laser pointer and basically it was late, the sun was starting to set and he got the idea that he was going to put the laser pointer right on my forehead, kinda missed uh, and the only thing I remember, I was wearing my glasses 
Um, and and the the moment of seeing that big ass red circle right in the middle of my field of vision or I don't know how close it was to the middle of my field of vision. Clearly wasn't in the middle because I can see just fine. But seeing that big ass red circle and going uh, like that, that was one of the scariest split seconds in my life. The other one was when I dropped Vicky while shaving barefoot. And the, the honey, oh. The funny thing is I'm wearing flip flops right now. So, My toes are just as exposed as they were when, uh, when I dropped the straight razor while barefoot, but I have way more experience now. Like just so you know, I, I, that last little motion here, I caught my ear a bit, but I know that my ear is fine. Mm. Another uh, quick anecdote. Shaving the mustache area with a straight razor going upward, it's known as the fool's pass for obvious reasons. Uh, I don't even do across the grain with uh, the straight razor. And you know what? I'm satisfied with everything except the, the chin area here. I'm just going to redo that real quick. I haven't used Vicky in a while. And the reason, like on average, basically I only use the straight razor when I feel like giving myself the full deluxe. And uh, this morning when I was touching my beard area, I just knew I feel like pampering myself. So I'm going to break Vicky out and give myself an amazing shave. Um, I, I would definitely say that my straight razor shaves closer than the... Uh, the, the double edge, but uh, the thing is, there's just so much overhead, even compared to what I normally do, I find, I find uh, that there's too much overhead for me to use it every day. Uh, the obvious thing is the stropping, which doesn't add that much. But uh, it's just an extra step that you have to do before you're ready to shave. And the other reason is the cleanup. Because, you know, this thing, like, these are the two most expensive items in my, uh, in my shaving kit. Uh, and they both cost in the, uh, the three digits. I forget how many hundreds the straight razor cost me but it was comparable in price to the the the, the big ass badger hair brush and if you're not careful and you don't clean it correctly and dry it thoroughly the trap is you only need one drop of water like this one I don't know if you'll see it or not you only need one drop of water um, that's left on the blade for to create rust and since this is one big piece you're basically fucked and uh, there goes all that money out the window whereas with the double edge you can just shake it off and say bah that's good enough and then uh, just go with the rest of your cleanup so that's why those are the two main the two main reasons why I only use the straight razor when I want to pamper myself, like today. And now, I also have an idea of how difficult it is to speak when shaving with the straight razor, but uh, I'm gonna use it again. So at least I'll know to uh, plan my topics appropriately. So now I'm going to apply today's uh, aftershave, which is Bobanam. Ooh, I have to rinse off my face. Um, another thing that I like about the, the straight razor, which I haven't mentioned, is that it really forces you to be aware. There, I think that the, ven the Zen aspect of 
traditional wet shaving in general is really put on steroids when you throw a straight razor in because um, the the thing that is cutting your face is in your hands so when something goes wrong you know okay and just to just to give you an idea of uh, of how how much attention you have to pay at times I remember um, this was one of the more recent times that I used it because I haven't used it that many times since but I remember I was shaving with the straight razor and I had just shaven them I just shaved the mustache area and then as I'm moving on to the rest of my uh, to the rest of my face I noticed this thin red line of blood that's horizontal and that's slowly forming right here and I remember saying really out loud because obviously it's one of these cuts where uh, the blood takes a few seconds to, to seep through the, to, to the surface but I had just shaved in that area and I didn't notice anything go wrong so I'm like why the fuck am I bleeding and when I uh, when I did the second pass um, I noticed that as I was shaving the uh, the mustache area the blade it skipped just a little bit like it was really subtle subtle enough where I hadn't noticed it on the first pass and at least then I knew what had gone wrong and I knew that uh, the problem was my blade wasn't sharp enough so I knew Vicky needed a touch up uh, which I did uh, following and uh, she's been giving me great shaves ever since although I will need to touch her up every now and then that's just part of the game one thing is for sure though I ain't, like as cheap as single blade double-edged razor blades are um, on average they're a dollar a blade which is more than what you're paying um, but um, it's still infinitely more than zero which is what I spend on replacement blades for the straight razor so that is it for today. Oh, before I let you go, uh, I really want to, I really want to throw this out uh, to people. Like, I'd like to know what you want to uh, see on this channel, what you want to hear me talk about, because I, I have a lot of uh, big abstract ideas, just like I have a lot of down-to-earth, everyday, practical tips. Uh, and I've noticed that uh, the 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 practical day-to-day -day tips tend to get more interactions, more likes, shares, comments, that kind of thing. Uh, so I just want to uh, ask you, what would you like to hear me talk about? Because I, I got plenty of both, the big ideas and the, uh, the, the concrete tips. Uh, so if you can take two seconds to just comment under this video uh, to tell me what you want to hear from me, uh, I, would, I would really appreciate it. It would help uh, the, the growth of this channel. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Please like, uh, subscribe on YouTube. You can follow me at Twitter on Twitter at SidrockMTL, S-Y-D-R-O-C-M-T-L. Uh, the links to all of these are under here. So thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next shave. You take care.